Hi there. Today I'm going to run you through the full testing experience on Proteus Motion. First thing we're going to do is walk up to the machine and log into the software. We're going to do so by scanning the QR code with the Proteus Motion app. Now that we're logged into the software, we can select performance testing where we can record data on any human movement. In here, you can select either our prefabbed Proteus Motion tests or you can create your own tests. Today I'm going to select the general power test, which is one of our most data rich assessments. On this user selection screen, you can queue up to 10 users to do an assessment. But today I'm just going to select myself. Once we begin the assessment, Proteus is going to remind us to put the correct handle on the machine. Now that we're starting the test, we need to teach Proteus the start and end positions of the movement we're going to be testing. This tells Proteus where its handle is in 3D space. Now that we have the start and end position set, we're off to the races and we're gonna go test. Proteus will show you how to complete all of the movements in your test and will provide you with live feedback as you complete the rep. We'll even let you know when you've hit a PR. Now that we've finished our test, we need to edit our cohort filter to decide what demographic we're going to be compared to. You can filter your cohort comparison by gender, age, height, weight, sport, position, skill level, and even if you're right-handed or left-handed. Now that we have our cohort comparison set, let's dive into our test summary. On the top left here, we have our power age, which compares your overall power scores to the median of other age groups. To the right, we have our power ranking. This tells us where our overall power ranks compared to our cohort. Below those top level metrics, we can see our overall power and our overall acceleration. An indication of that's improved since last test, and we can see a trend line for all the tests that we've completed. We also see where we rank percentile wise amongst the cohort that we're being compared to for these overall values. Next, we can move on to our movement category overview. We start with some top level insights to make deciphering this information just a little bit easier. On the right side of the screen, we can see our radar chart. This is taking all the movement categories that we tested and showing us where we stand relative to the cohort that we are being compared to. The idea here is to get everything in the red, orange, yellow, and get it out into the green. We can also see that we have our previous tests here so we can see how far we've come relative to our cohort since our last test. And on the left side of the screen, we can see for each movement category that we have raw values and an indication of progression or regression for each movement category. We can also share our reports with someone via mobile phone by just scanning the QR code and that will bring us right to a web browser where we have our recommendations and insights.